Gonna have this matchup, Virtus Pro, yes, they doing what most people would not believe they would do. They eliminated the favorite team secret, Nell GD. We also got to see their path down here into the lower bracket, and it wasn't a smooth ride at all. No, LGD actually got completely... It could just be a, a flat... Top flat lane, this up. could be the first blood right now. MMY is moving in quick. He can go start with a stun, follow up into the Hex with a Rocket Mirage. Phobos not tanky enough to survive this, not win the Shards, or maybe he will. Back behind the tower, TEP support's oh, coming in on 11 life. Yeah, too low, FNG with a stun! Virtus Pro! Underneath the Tier 1 tower, LGD call for a moment. And they need one. They were committing so well. But the Earthshaker, just strong enough to get back under the tower. One more attack. Just one more attack would have done it. As well as Rubik, of course, benefit as well. But it's more about oh, the, yeah. the storm of You do not want to be oh, here. Yeah. God, he's right next to him. He doesn't know if he pops one red, but now he will know. Yao in close with a fidget to help him out. God, putting the extra damage to work. One last attack. And it will be a kill. Going away the VP mid, while maybe a long way up. The Light Strike Array going to connect on the SF. God, not enough mana. He's got enough for one more jump. He's going to be close up with the dust. He can't hide, but then again, he can bottle up the extra fissure as well. Maybe surviving under the tower, and now TP's into the mid, and now LGD. They brought practically their entire team, Barsila, into that. One less attack, and it may not sound like the biggest of deals, but it is. It, it changes everything that you have that, uh, that you get the kill one second faster. As, okay, this might be a little greedy here. Yeah, gone with a jump. He wanted to get the rune. He's going to die for the cause. Maybe comes through with the double raises and the extra support control from LGD. I notice the moment Yao gets level two. <laughs> They can suddenly do something right here. That, that kill would have been very effectively as possible. He joins the gank because they think they, they'll need him and that he's going to obviously help out with his DD. It's a DD rune wasted. Yeah, lost two creeps. He's dead. Completely dead. There's no way out of this one. Not when there's four heroes coming down. And again, the Shadow Fiend will be taking this last hit. And Dro Ranger was just not ready. There was an Observer and Sentry in the lane that trying to see deep. But LGD coming under the cover of Smoke. They're going to get a tower, too. I yep. don't think there's anything... Lots of playing Sila going after Phobos. The call down, not enough to kill him off. FNG stuns and Feybolt's going to remove the damage of Sila. They can't get a revenge until Swordsburg. God! A long jump into the tower. Sila's going to stick charge, but God's got more mana, but no! 12 life! He has to go again! But God will find the kill. That time he had to do it without the Dro Aura. But still able to be successful. That's his second kill of the game. This is still very good for LGD. They've, uh, they've... GD just taking tier one towers for free. They got the bottom one, but they'll refuse to give them the top. Phobos moving in. He's got a future block potential on Sila right now, and uh, he'll need it. The double stun, FNG to follow up, and Yao dead very quickly. God, expending a large chunk of mana to get in that close. Maybe has TP'd up here, though. He has haste. If they want to fight this, they should do it right now, before the spells come off cooldown again for the Radiant. It's so difficult though, there's also another Radiant Observer Ward sitting behind, is watching MMY Sala and Maybe's movements. And they see the haste rune with only a... He's very, very rich. This is one of the richest Shadow Fiends I think we've seen Ilden in the tournament. Dead. Yeah. Hawk shot down again from Xiaowei. Ilden can't find the angle for the guy. Xiaowei's positioning was perfect at that point. He knew he was making the Droid Ranger have to turn. Hence, she couldn't get the gust line right. And even if she does, Xiaowei has a four staff. He's actually itemized differently. What we usually see from Clockworks first in this tournament is the blade mail. I like the... Yes, tonight. I still can't believe that tier one tower remains in middle lane. Bottom when you lane, in yep. but... Hold oh, down. FGKB. FNG's in trouble. On the run out of here, he needs more life. The rocket's gonna kill him. They need someone to get rid of this for him. And Lil, the Storm God was jumping for it desperately. Couldn't reach it in time. And while he was doing that, Sila was TPing back to base, enjoying the spoils of war. That was a love for LGD, but it's definitely better than not going for it. Illidan's trying to keep the rest of LGD away. The shards, it doesn't lock in Illidan, but Xiao Wei will. The snowball's coming as well. The Gus can't push him back. The Fissure will push Yao out of the cogs, but it will not stop him from killing the Dro Ranger. Xiao Wei's battery assault working in combination with the Walrus Punch, and maybe to the front lines, Lil's going to pick him up and throw him back. Trying to keep LGD away from their base. But the Blink Dagger now online, there's better initiation, especially when you can force up into a Blink on the SS. Yeah. He chooses to go it over Blink this game. Looks like Lil will yep. get one as well. Elden in real trouble. Hook shot in. He's going to lose his Alpha Wolf as well. That's the extra damage down the drain. And once again, maybe find the kill. He goes four for zero on this SF. They actually just stole his Alpha Wolf. <laughs> The helm of the Dominator of Sila. It has 1600 health because he dominated another Dominator creep.
It's really tanky. If they keep ping-ponging this, this could be a really big wall. <laughs> it does work that way, right? Yeah, there's no way to get 1,600 health from one domination. There's so many yeah. turn codes in this game. It has more health than the Shadow King. <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah, God, jumping in on maybe, but this is only harassment to make LGD think twice, but it already reveals the fact that we have a Glimmer Cape on the Tusker to go along with his urn and arcane boots. That Blink Dagger of Lion is also waiting for the perfect moment against the Storm. A Storm that doesn't have Lincolns or BKB. So it's a guaranteed control every time from MMY over on God. And FNG, well, there's your jump. They find Lil, they bring him down. Storm Spirit jumping in, MMY already down for the count. Maybe the BKB. Yeah, there was a 10 second charge coming out. And now they just back out, they trigger the drum. On just setting up for that the one scribbles. tower. Illidan, you don't want to be here. That Dire Observer Ward, watch him go up. Xiao wait, hook shots in. And now real trouble for Illidan, he can't break free. The Gus will push Xiao Bei out. But then the SF locks in. God, looking for revenge kill over on Yao. Able to claim it with Lil, finishing the job with a Fade Bolt. They move over to maybe just throwing him back with the Telekinesis. FNG, time to get out there is time. God still got mana as well to jump back in a base, but Lil needs to force stuff away from Phobos. Way too much damage coming out from that SF for a Rubik to stand there. And I think this is when LGD just go and get, at, at the very least, the tower. They have their BKB ready on Shadow Fiend and Gyro again. Decent Fissure from Phobos. This Tall Spirit so close to this Orchid of his. Having that, they might be able to find some openings right now. FNG, it's a trade-off, but actually the four stuff out gets him out of the corner to God! Maybe! Down to 25 life! Remember, he's still got the Aegis of the Immortal! Without their movements from this. This is why Illidan's died now twice over on those Ancients. But it's uh, the fact you got the Orchid uh, flying in on God. So they got a way to get this instant kill. Fissure out, MMY's gonna jump, God. Where's this sound's gonna come? The call down. Three heroes in first broke caught this one. The four stuff down by Phobos, getting himself away from Xiao Wei, but Xiao Wei keeping on the back of him. The battery assault will finish the job on Illidan. Sal's gonna finish this job. Xiao Wei's actually made to pick up a double kill, and Illidan actually away to safety for now. T being out, FNG will not be so lucky, and actually Illidan won't either. The blink dagger on the SF gets him there in the nick of time. As God's just trying to creep skip this out and keep the wave away from the VP base. And he'll be successful for the moment. Whoa, what I miss? Uh, oops. Yeah. <laughs> he, he missed the timing out just by a little bit. So 30 seconds until... Nice. <laughs> Snap. Man, these racks is getting worked on at the moment. The Sigil will drop. Shards out. Illidan and Lil going caught, but then maybe they do have Laguna Blade. They're going to pop the SF force off him up, and they've got extra health. Both mech, and there's your echo, so more control required. It's just not there. LGD's too strong. The Cogs keeping the rest of Virtus Pro away from LGD. But maybe Glimmer Cape plus the mech and BKB. Survivability was essential. It's so crucial Yao gets that off. If he didn't glimmer him right when he did, maybe would have definitely died there. And that fight could have maybe been two or three kills for VP. The moment Shadow Fiend is down and doesn't get Requiem off, they have so much damage between the Drow and the Storm. But Requiem removes a lot of it. And now they go in for that range rack take and God jumping up forward, but Xiao Wei going in deeper. He forced off into that one. They find the Illidan and they'll go over to God as well as FNG, retreating back behind the tier four towers. Only the Storm has the ability to escape at the moment, and the TPing a long way forward, actually trying to get outside the base. Xiao Wei so low, Laguna Blade, it's five seconds off cooldown. It's enough to kill Xiao Wei, but he's got to live for five seconds. Name not even possible Storm Spirit, a long way out. They lose the Lena, and the Storm TP ball attempt to get a kill was not enough damage to pick up the LGD. Get the BKP and the four staffs, and the walk back was just enough for Illidan. Oh, Fissure? Yeah, they get one on Yao. No, it's gonna allow bad. Lil to steal shards. Not a bad ability. Gonna turn around, Xiao Wei back in again. FNG with a stun. The Laguna Blade over on Xiao Wei. They're looking for the kill, but then again, the Glimmer Cape doing the work. God, he just wants to find the kill, able to do so. The gem's on the deck, but so are three of the VP players. Trying to run himself away, but God, there's just no mana. The Bloodstone denied, but can they keep him stunned up long enough? And no! <laughs> they just let the Requiem play out its song. And they explode the Storm Spirit. No denial from the Bloodstone. And now SF is 11 for 0. And Illidan. He got an assist. This is lower bracket. This is elimination. The loser of this series goes out, so it's all, all or nothing.
but they leave maybe on the front lines. LGD, they know the burst is there, and then MMY, the Orchid from God, he wants to finish the job. MMY, Glimmer came up though, God can't see him, he can't kill him. FNG's down, Fire Boss as well, the tournament may be winding up the only Elton! Destroyed! Sila will actually take the ultra kill, they'll take the bottom rack, and they'll take the GG! LGD, a terrific performance. It looked a little bit weird with the snowball on the top lane, but after that, it was all Gucci for LGD. Yeah, I, I, I even think VP had a good start to that game. That's the scariest part. Like, their first five minutes were actually good. They got the counter kill top, so Lino was up to a good start. Shaker survived. Uh, they found a couple of, or they found another kill. Drow had good farm. Storm had a good mid lane. And then LGD just, with a snap of their fingers, they killed a little.